everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very special episode of CSGO News and likely because of our first story, many of you guys are here watching. I'm going to show you all the differences between Valve's version of CSGO, the version you mostly probably play, and the perfect world version of CSGO. And some of the differences are very astonishing and very drastic. So I'm going to show you guys those very shortly. But first off, thanks to this guy who gave us all the information. He's actually from Indonesia, but currently studying in China for a prolonged period of time. And so the main way you can actually access the perfect world version of CSGO, you must be in China with a Chinese phone number to verify your Steam profile account. And that's how he did it. He's actually originally from Indonesia. So he's one of the few players out there who's actually played the Valve version of CSGO and now the Perfect World version and he sent us in some differences between the two. So first off, the biggest difference guys is the color of blood. Actually due to some censorship laws, as you guys can see on screen, the color of blood is way different in the Chinese version or the Perfect World version. Almost a darker gray or, or even a black color. Maybe this makes it less appealing or more appealing towards the younger areas, the younger age groups they want to appeal to there. Maybe it's less frightening for some people in that population. But yeah, the color of blood is a big difference there. On top of that though, due to some kind of conflict between China and communist countries out there. They have removed all the communist logos from every map. Many of you guys know the most common one is of course on cash over that little archway there. But on top of that, other, other communist logos across all the maps have all been removed. So kind of a unique thing there due to kind of some kind of external conflict, they actually changed their internal game. On top of that though, even cooler as well, every single player got three free stickers. So when you signed up for free CSGO, you also got three free stickers. Uh, and who knows actually why they did that, but still kind of a cool thing that Perfect World is doing there. Also, as of right now, there are currently no browse community game servers. I'm sure there'll be more community games in the future. It's obviously just released out of beta, so there couldn't be any community servers as of right now. I'm sure in the future they will get some. And now the coolest part, the coolest difference between, of course, the Chinese version and, of course, Valve's version is this. As you guys can probably see, a little off screen, I'll kind of zoom in for all of you guys. They have a healthy timer. Actually, after every hour of gameplay, the game will actually pop up with a warning and tell you to kind of take a rest or take a break or, or get a little jog in. It'll actually tell you that every single hour, and until then, it'll keep track of the minutes you've actually played and of course it'll tell you you're currently healthy and then all of a sudden after an hour it'll tell you to take a break or take a rest. I don't know what this is, what kind of regulations there are in China as of right now, but it seems that China is trying to encourage active or healthy gaming while the rest of us, especially here in America, are certainly not doing that. Kind of curious though because most of us actually play CSGO for longer than an hour at a time. It might get a little kind of annoying to see that pop-up warning every hour or so. But that was some really cool CSGO news guys. That is the difference between Perfect World CSGO and Valve CSGO. As of right now, we're going to try and get more screenshots in the future. Many of you guys know as well the different weapon skins that has been confirmed. I'm not going to show you guys all the screenshots, but here's some confirmations that their skins, as of right now, some of the laws in China do forbid blood, skulls, and death being actually proliferated on their weapons, and so that's why the weapon changes did happen. So again, huge thanks to that guy. That's the kind of guy that makes this content on this channel great. You know, seeing the difference between Chinese CSGO and of course everyone else's CSGO is something you really can't see anywhere else as of right now. So huge thanks to that guy for showing us differences there, and it was really cool to see how big those differences really were based on laws in the country they operate in or the continent they operate in as well. Now on top of that, even more important, Ross changed news for all of you people who are fans of the female scene out there. We actually have Michaela Lindstrup on screen for all of you, leaving one of the better female teams in the world right now that is Dynasty Gaming, the female lineup there. Their current roster she leaves is on screen for all of you as well. She has actually left coincidentally one week after they actually dodged the event. Many of you guys heard about this. They are two of their five members, that was Zaz and Giuliano, allegedly left the morning before the actual tournament began. It was not really allegedly, we kind of confirmed this, but ever since then Zaz and Giuliano have yet to make their statements on why that was but coincidentally and probably kind of not it was probably on purpose we're not really sure the purposes as of right now but yes she did leave one week after that instance and we'll see where she goes of course being a part of the one of the better female teams out there I'm sure she'll have offers in the future now on top of that we also have a secret package being sent to me not so secret from OP skins and so I'm gonna open that right now for all of you guys I'm pretty sure it's merch but we're gonna find out live because this is okay I just love getting packages I'm not gonna show my address because I did that last time and it was really stupid to me and it's so funny to see the progression of YouTube because I'm many I'm sure many of you guys are aware of this in the, in the past few months we've seen this so many times where people get packages or they shout out sponsors or they shout out websites they always have to say this if it's not a sponsor we've had it so become so much more popular now where people say hey by the way I'm not being paid for this and so I must say it here by the way guys I'm not being paid for this by OP skins they paid for this merch but I'm, I, I'm not being paid besides that boom boom this is gonna seem really cocky though on campus I don't know if I can wear this <laughs> People aren't gonna know what OP Skins is, and they're gonna think I'm walking around campus like, oh yeah, I'm just made of money. First of all, I make the least of any YouTuber I know in the CSGO scene right now. I'm currently even unsponsored. 
This is just cocky. I'm gonna wear this while live streaming. I doubt I'll wear it outside, but thank you, OP Skins. I appreciate that. I really do. But now onto our last story, guys, and actually gonna be talking about Steam Inventory Helper. I'm sure many of you guys heard about this yesterday. We had an anomaly tweet about this. Of course, the Reddit post on top of that. Steam Inventory Helper, a very, very commonly used Google add-on. Many of you guys probably had it installed as of yesterday. I uninstalled mine because people were getting us as of their latest update. People got a very, very sketchy update as well as a pop-up notification on screen for all of you. I'll show it multiple times. And that is the last straw. Of course, many of you guys know it could be one of those updates where they miss and they misinform people. Maybe it means nothing. I, I know I saw some replies to that post where it could mean absolutely nothing. It was kind of just misworded on the on the pop-up notification, but that is the last straw for me. I will never take these things more seriously. I, I really can't stress this enough, guys. I uninstalled my Steam Inventory Helper as it does seem they're going to be wanting to actually have access to more information of all the websites you've actually accessed that involve Steam. And that, to me, is, is definitely an invasion of privacy. And as of right now, it seems some kind of an over leap there and we really don't know what this means in terms of criteria what this means they can actually access but I'm not gonna take a risk with that I, I probably want to uh, probably enforce this as well with all of you guys I would not risk it for now I'd uninstall it there was a small update to that situation where the developer of steam inventory helper was gonna re-upload the latest version without the plugin that actually had that notification where he could access your data for every other website but I really agree with many of you guys who replied to this post about this but the fact is this this guy was going to try and do it anyway no one really knows his true intentions or what he was really trying to do a couple of hours ago or 24 hours ago when he first released this plugin and who knows what he actually got away with as of right now we really do not know and I'm not gonna find out I've already un uninstalled I, of course it kind of is sad because it was the best inventory helper out there but there are other ones out there that work just kind of sort as well but not near as, as perfected as this one was so unfortunately enough I'm not gonna find out once untrusted always untrusted as always this can be for today's episode of CSC news thank you all for the great support as well as my last video we actually broke an amazing amount of likes seriously thank you all so much I'm not currently sponsored right now so I'm really holding on to very few things out there my like count and my comment count are a few of those things that actually make me like feel good about making videos so you guys can do me a favor please leave a comment down below I'll try and reply to some of them my schoolwork actually has been really stressful as of late you guys actually did though break 800 likes which means that this Friday on live stream I'll be waxing my thighs I, this seems like a stupidest thing to do but I actually like that we can interact and actually set challenges for all of you guys to kind of you know uh, of course force you guys to hit the like button and of course anything I can do to make you guys do that I'll, I'll, I'll of course sell out and do that so uh, I'm gonna be waxing my, my thighs this Friday and that was probably not worth it okay I'll see you guys in a couple days thank you all for watching remember I like you Goodbye.